Well, folks, welcome back. This is Gale Force Winds at Energy NL 2023, sponsored by Everwind Fuels. I'm incredibly excited to have Minister O'Regan here with us. This is a person that is incredibly busy. According to your social media, you are everywhere all the time. So <laughs> I'm just going to throw it over to you to introduce yourself for the few people that might not know who you are. Uh, Seamus O'Regan, Member of Parliament for St. John South Mount Pearl, so the west end of the city, Petty Harbour, Gould's, Mount Pearl, uh, Kilbride, uh, Willis Bay, Bay Bulls. Um, a lot of a lot of people who were affected by this industry, who prospered because of this industry, um, in the past 30 years, 25, 30 years, 25 years since first oil Hibernia, and um, so you know, you if you're if you're a member of Parliament for an oil producing province and an oil producing riding, uh, in a time of, of climate change and, and great you know investment change, um, it's uh, y you try and find a way through it like many Newfoundlanders are, and I would argue like we are here and you're seeing it here at the Energy NL conference. I think, you know, I gave a really positive speech because I could, because, you know, we've had a rough old go of it. Um, we, this industry was particularly hard hit by yeah, the pandemic. I know. Uh, not only because of COVID, but also because of a, a global oil price war. And I was just reminding people, you know, I was natural resources minister at the time, which generally for the government of Canada means you're flying all over the world promoting Newfoundland Labrador, promoting the rest of the country's energy portfolio. In fact, I was told I would travel more than the foreign affairs minister. My husband was <laughs> thrilled at the prospect. And COVID hit a month into the job, two months into the job. Yeah. And probably like a lot of people watching, you know, my husband would look me in every morning and go, you're still here. Yeah. You're still here. Yeah. So we hadn't lived that much together in a long time. See, like everybody else did it all. I was doing G20 energy meetings, G7 energy meetings, trying to figure out how to deal with negative $35 oil, negative $35 barrel oil. Uh, and doing it all from, you know, my place off Kingsbridge Road alone. Yeah. Like everybody else. It was an awful time for a lot of people in this business. We were texting each other, calling each other, trying to figure out how to keep this industry afloat, not just for its own sake, but because we have built up such tremendous talent. I didn't want to lose people because I knew this moment would come when we would not only be, you know, lowering emissions, which we have to do in the oil and gas sector, but renewables. Jesus, look what's happening right now with hydrogen, wind in this province. The same people who we need to lower emissions in the oil and gas business, and the, sa you know, the same people who we need to, to put those wind turbines up, the same people in the oil and gas industry. Oh, no. And if we lose them, people who live in my ride and live in this province, we won't be able to do all that. So my focus has always been on workers and on the amazing, incredible talent that we have developed in this province. And I know that because 25 years ago, I was working for Brian Tobin, he was the premier, and we had Hibernia first oil. And I can tell you, we didn't know what we were doing. Yeah, that's right. And look at us now. I know. We're flying all over the world in Mozambique and Mongolia. I'm always sitting on a plane, some young fellow in his 20s and 30s. Where are you off to? Mozambique again, boy. Yeah. Off, now to show him how it's done. Yeah. And I just go, we did this. We did this. So, you know, we are. when people tell me it can't be done, don't tell me it can't be done. No. Don't tell me it can't be done. We can show the world how to do this. We can show the world. Uh, you don't have to you know, pull the carpet out from under an economy. We will figure out how to lower emissions in the oil and gas sector, because it's all about emissions, and we will figure out renewables. We are doing it. Yeah. We're doing it. The numbers are staggering, Minister. I was in the meeting there yesterday, and they were talking like one company, 17 billion phase one, 20 billion phase two. That's one company. The numbers are staggering. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, another problem I'm trying to solve is uh, I want to get a direct flight back from uh, from York to, uh, we don't realize, we look at the Canadian yeah. map all the time, we just see kind of ourselves on the arse end of Canada. I have a map in my office that shows us right in the middle of the G7. We're four hours from Heathrow. I remember that flight back when Air Canada had it 25 too. years ago. Three hours, 55 minutes to Heathrow. Listen, we have proximity to one of the biggest markets in the world, probably one of the most affluent markets in the world, and that's the European Union. Uh, close to 400 million people who are driven to lower emissions and driven to buy renewables. Um, you know, so I see a seismic geographic shift that I've always been trying to push. Uh, we got to start thinking of Europe, our proximity to Europe, their demand for, for clean fuels, their demand for lowering emissions. We are right next door. Minister, Gale Force Winds is all about positivity. My Lord, you're some positive fella. Where did you get that? 
uh, by having to deal with a lot of negative. Yeah. You Overcoming know, when, that negative. Yeah. When you go through, when you go through a lot of negative. Um, you see the positive very clearly. So none of this is exaggeration. None of this is hyperbole. Uh, I'm very clear-eyed in how I view the world. I'm actually very pragmatic. If I'm effusive, it's because the opportunity is there. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not making this up. This is. Uh, we don't need nobody around here needs me to toot the horn. No. Um, they all know. Feel the energy in this room. Feel the buzz in this room. This is a room of people, of visionaries, of people who have been through a lot. Um, when I first started talking to him as a member of parliament and as a, as a novice minister, and I talked about lowering emissions and I talked about building up renewables, maybe at, at first it was a more cautious audience, but these are smart people. They know which way the market's going and they've embraced it. And uh, I'm just incredibly proud of, of this room. I'm incredibly proud of my province. Uh, you know, I keep telling people that. Uh, we are on the cusp of greatness here. We really are. We've shown the world what we can do with oil. Um, you know, nobody, you know, there were all the naysayers were out during Hibernia. Look at them now. Um, Hibernia keeps pumping out. Um, but more than that, you know, Beta Noor, for instance, is the lowest producible, lowest emitting producible source of oil in the world. And, you know, what we can do with that um, is extraordinary. The technologies that we can develop here in partnership with Equinor, and I don't think that there's, look, you know, oil's going to be with us for some time. If it is, let's find the lowest emitting producible sources of oil to get us through the next 20, 30 years. Yeah. Uh, and let's deal with some of the best in business. I, I mean, Equinor, in terms of keeping the emissions low and seeking out sources of oil that are low, you know, um, they're probably best in class. Uh, other companies were, are trying to catch up to them. We will learn from them. Uh, there's just an extraordinary amount of opportunity uh, if we keep a very clear-eyed view, but you know, and, and a dose of optimism too, to help you get through those tough times. I'm not going to keep you much longer. I know you're incredibly busy. You've got a pile of people waiting for you. Um, I have uh, you know, young children. I'm so optimistic for them. What, what yeah. advice would you give to youth? And how do we get this message out to youth? Join the skilled trades. Get into the skilled trades. I would say seriously. Good point. We've got too many university degrees. Yeah. Uh, I'm, you, listen, I'm one to talk. I master's in philosophy. I have two Good. degrees. Right. I'm educated beyond my intelligence. When they, when they found me and put me in television, I was living in mom and dad's basement off Town <laughs> Avenue. That, like anybody who does with a master's in philosophy. Look, I'm, I'm, it's not taken away from an arts degree. I'm very no. proud of it. But I'm just saying that broaden your scope. Look carefully. Uh, skilled trades is huge opportunity. We're really lacking in skilled trades people, not just for this industry. That's one of the reasons why we have a housing crisis yeah. in this country. Yeah. You know, we, right. we, it's why we have a housing shortage in this country is because uh, we don't have enough skilled trade workers. So I'd say not just broaden your scope. Yeah. Really take a good look. There's so much opportunity out there. Don't automatically jump the gun. Um, you know, that would be my biggest advice to young people. And, and, and join, you know, join us. Like, there are a lot of people out there who want to do something about climate change, want to be pragmatic about it, though, want to figure out how we do it without, you know, tearing up the economy altogether, but at the same time, want to be very ambitious about meeting our targets yeah. and creating opportunities. Yeah. This place is ground zero for that. 100%. And you know what? I got to tell you, this, folks, is what leadership is ah. in Canada. This is Energy NL 2023, sponsored by Everwind Fuels. Minister O'Regan, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Brian.